enough, enough. Well, well, well. Today is a special day. <laughs> Tomorrow, Sydney starts high school. She's 14 years old. Can you guys believe that? And today, she's getting her first driving lesson ever. She's not really that much into cars or anything like that, but she's got to learn early. And I don't think she can appreciate that she's actually having her first driving lesson ever in a V12. I'm gonna say, it's gonna be really cool. So obviously we're not doing anything on a road or anything. We have a huge parking lot here all to ourselves. I figured it's the perfect time to start teaching this little girl how to we're drive. Safe. So first off, what we're gonna do is, actually we're gonna do, do proper safe here. You're gonna sit in my lap for okay. the first little lap that we're doing. For the first lap? Yeah, so. You know, I'm turning. Yeah. I don't wanna hit a curb. I'm not even gonna fit through here. <laughs> yeah, you are. Look at that, it's perfect. I don't like that. <laughs> My knees. Sorry, I'm like. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So check this out. So usually on uh, on normal cars, like in mommy's truck and you know my other car and stuff like that, you have the uh, gear selector here, out of here. But on this Mercedes, it's a little stock right here. So look right here. Hey, right here. You see, it says P right there. Yeah. That stands for park. Now it's in D, and that's for drive. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm just gonna let let off the uh, the break here <laughs> see you can get a feel for like the the steering wheel and stuff okay stop it a little bit I'm gonna try and turn okay you're gonna turn right here turn yeah you gotta turn more this is so cool <laughs> so okay get it straight get it straight over here all right and then wait and hold it straight all right. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you can steer though. I can. This is actually yeah. pretty easy. All right. So we're going to go back and then we'll uh, get the seat all set up for you. Turn. Don't hit the curb. There you go. Come on, me. Hit the curb. <laughs> all right. So uh, jump in that uh, driver's seat. And then what we're going to do is. Uh, so on a Mercedes, all the seat controls here are on the, the door panel. <laughs> okay. And then lesson number two here, so you know, <laughs> that's the brake pedal. Oh, that's right? the go pedal. That's the go pedal, and that's the brake pedal. No, 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 no. You always use the same foot. Yeah. Safety number two here. Get the seat belt. I don't want to hit into a curb. You're not going to hit in that curb. Did I start the car? No. God. I'm not starting the car until I get in here. Oh, thank God. What are you talking about? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> You're so tiny. That's so funny. Are you nervous or what? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now, um, put your foot on the brake. Brake. There you go. Hold it in. There you go. And then you're going to push the start button right here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hit the gas pedal a little bit. Why am I not driving? No, wait, wait. Oh, it's in park. Yeah, it's in park. No, it's not. It says drive. No, it doesn't. It said, wait, wait, you're not touching anything yet. It's in park. See? Right there. It's in park. Uh -huh. So what you're going to do now, put your foot on the brake. That's the gas pedal, honey bunny. Oh. Put your foot on the brake, keep your foot on the brake, and then pull this stock down. Another angle, one more time. There you go. Now carefully take your foot off the brake. You're gonna have to tap the gas pedal a little bit. Just tap it. There, okay, good. Take your foot off the gas pedal. There you go. So now the car's just rolling on its own without you really having to use the gas pedal. So we're gonna do it really slowly, all right? But take, have your foot ready to hit the brake pedal. And then obviously turn now. Turn more. There you go. Good job, honey. Okay, so we're going to little up. Good job. There you go. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Okay, hit the brake. 
Oh. <laughs> so usually you just lean into the brake a little bit, but you're learning. You're learning. All right, so hit the gas pedal. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. No. You're doing good. Okay, brake, brake, brake. See, got to be careful in the beginning. <laughs> All right, good. I'm gonna be a pretty good driver. Are these your wheelie marks? No, they're not mine. That's surprising. All right, so put your foot on the brake and come to a stop. When you need to be at a stop, like at a, a red light or a stop sign or something like that, you have to keep your foot on the gas pedal unless you put the car in park. So now take your foot off the brake. Mm -hmm. Not moving. Yeah, and hit the gas pedal. No, no, no. Gas yeah. pedal doesn't move, it just revs. Yeah. yeah, so now you're revving it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Okay, so put your foot on the brake pedal. Keep it on the brake pedal. Yes. So what do you do with this stock now? Pull it down until you see that it's in drive, okay? And all you're gonna do now, because I'm not in the car, you're just going to take your foot off the brake pedal and let it roll on its own. And then when I tell you to stop, you stop. Okay? So no no gas pedal. Well, you might have to tap it, the gas pedal now to, to make it move. But then take your foot off the gas and then be ready to brake. Okay? Okay. Look at that. She's driving on her own. All right, brake. <laughs> All right, you got you got you got to lean into the brake pedal, okay? So do it again, but lean in. Come to a, a smooth stop. All right, stop. There you go. Okay, so we have you in the car. Uh, the seat is to uh, your specifications as a short person here. We have the seat belt, safety uh, number two. Another safety feature that I love to have in my cars is a dash cam. This thing has saved my life so many times and thanks to 70 my for sponsoring today's video. That's right. I don't know how many times a dash cam has saved my ass. Do you guys remember that one time where I was pulled over in some county in Georgia and the cop said that I was going 90 miles an hour? Since I had a dash cam, I could prove that I wasn't going 90 miles an hour. Even though I was speeding, I could prove that I wasn't going 90 miles an hour. That case was actually thrown out because of a dash camera. And do you remember when I had the 205C63 that was hit in an intersection? It was right before I was going to trade it in for a Ferrari. The guy said that I ran a red light and I was able to obviously prove because I had a dash cam that I didn't run a red light. He did. So there's just a safety aspect uh, in regards to having a dash cam. In the S65, I'm running the 70 My A810. This is the first dash cam in the world that has HDR 4K. That's high dynamic range for the front camera and HDR for the rear camera as well. I've never experienced a dash cam that has better resolution during the day and during the night. Now it's powered by the Sony Starvis 2 IMX678 image sensor. And as you guys can see in these daytime videos, I mean, the resolution is awesome. But what's even better is the nighttime resolution. So along with the Starvis 2 image sensor coupled with the night owl vision, just check this out. Even at night, you're able to capture license plates, like clearly. I've never had a dash cam that have, has better resolution than the 70 My. Now it also has a screen and then buttons underneath. Uh, so you're able to toggle through settings. And then of course it comes with a mobile app where you can handle everything there as well. Now I've chosen, excuse the mess in here, to just plug it into my USB right here. It's super simple to install. You can hide uh, the cord underneath here and in the side. It also comes available with a hard wiring kit. Now the good thing is if you have to park your car in public places a lot, especially overnight and so on, it does have a smart guardian guard mode uh, that's actually powered by AI. So if someone's standing in front of your car, for instance, for a longer period of time, the AI system basically senses that something weird might be going on and it will start filming. So if someone does something to your car while it's parked, it will be caught on video. And uh, you can show the authorities. Because the thing is, I mean, anyone can walk up and, and ding your car or scratch your car. Unless you have video of it, 
you don't really have any proof. All that I know though is that I will always have a dash cam in my car and as soon as Sydney gets her own car when she's old enough to drive on her own, she's gonna have one too. So 70 My has a sale going on right now. Check out the link in the description and pick one of these up for yourself. You're not gonna regret having a dash cam. I promise you that. Check out the link in the description. Thanks to 70 My for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the upload. Right. I'm dreading this. We're not backing the car up, are we? Yeah, we are. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> but one thing that you have to know, anytime you wanna put the car in park, in reverse, neutral, or drive. You have to come to a complete stop and have your foot on the brake, okay? So put your foot on the brake. It is. Now what you're gonna do is, you see where the R is, right? Mm -hmm. So you gotta move the stock up. Isn't That's neutral. Up, there you go. You see that? Backup camera comes on. You see that? Mm -hmm. So just take your foot off the brake you gotta, yeah, you gotta tap the gas pedal. There you go. And then take, yeah, and then carefully. There you go. So now you're backing up. And you can come to a stop. Good job. So you're learning how to drive in modern era where, you know, we have backup cameras and everything. When I learned to drive, when you're, when mommy learned to drive, we didn't have this stuff. So you had to, uh, learn to use the rear view mirror and the side mirror. So back up a little bit more. There you go. And then come to a stop. This is your first driving lesson. We're not gonna like go into, you know, parallel parking and messing around with the side mirrors too much. Oh no, absolutely not. Put the car in drive again. There you go. Good, honey. Thank you. Try to get the car in one of these parking spots. So come to a smooth stop. There you go. And I'm gonna go out and check, see what it looks like. Stop. All right. So back up a little bit. Back up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Put. Come to a complete stop. There you go. There you go. Stop. <laughs> All right. There you go, good job. Are you, are you looking at the camera? I am. Okay, well good job. See, you're perfectly parked here now. All right, so we've been fine tuning her uh, driving position here. Um, we moved the seat back a little bit because earlier she was like up here and uh, it was harder for her to turn. Your arms are supposed to be straighter like they are now. See, that's good. Yeah, see, you're doing, you're doing great. Isn't that better? Doesn't that feel better or no? Yes. Okay, well that's good. Oh, what? 11 miles an hour, 12, what? Oh, you're doing great, honey. All right, make a left. There you go. Can I do one more loop around? Yeah. I'm going to be such a good driver. Oh yeah, I think so. It's a completely different ball game, though, when you're driving around in a big, empty parking lot with me versus driving in traffic. All right, nice, smooth braking. I like that. Oh, you're doing good. I'm so proud. Look at that. Hey, okay, turn, turn. Don't hit the curb. All right, good job. Oh, that thing sounds good. All right, stop. <laughs> Are you learning the pedal feel? I like that. I feel confident. Alright, you know what? You're doing pretty good for your first try, I have to say. Oh yeah. She starts high school tomorrow. She's 14 years old. In two years, she's going to have her driver's license. My dad, he got me in a car and started driving when I was 13. But I'm from Sweden, and we don't get our license until we're 18. Unlike what? here in the U.S. Yeah, in the U.S. it's 16, in Sweden it's 18. So uh, I feel like it's better the earlier you know you you get to 
learn the basics and so on. You get to, get the feel for a car, um, you know, and, and with a parent as well versus doing it with like just a driving instructor. All right, so <laughs> go back to our original spot. So go up here. I'm gonna go up and. Turn. Yeah, yeah, do that. Okay, so our last little lesson here is you're gonna back into this opening here between these two curbs and wait so you're gonna have to put the see now it's in drive put it in reverse there you go it's an R and then you're actually gonna be able to utilize the, the backup camera here now so you need to get in between right there okay just go carefully you're doing good you're doing good yep you're cutting at the right time all right, so straighten up, straighten up the wheel. There you go, perfect. All right, so come to a stop, come to a stop. I just did that, oh my God, that looks sick. <laughs> and then put it in drive, there you go. And then we're gonna go over here and then you're gonna point that way like we did when we started the video. Of course, I forgot to film this here, but she just backed up close to the curb here, uh, as I told her to park. To finish our video you did very good honey thank you pound it out Nugget. proud of you so now uh, if you come to a stop we're in park mm -hmm. push the button push this part yep and we're done you turned it off all right good job how did that feel great was it fun mm -hmm. That's awesome. You did really good. You did better than I thought you were going to do, actually. Me too. I thought you were going to be a, a bit more scared. I mean, you, you were a little scared, but that, that's normal. Uh, I would be too. But you you, uh, you handled it very, very well. I'm proud of you, honey. And it is here. Maybe at some point in your life, you'll learn to appreciate that your first driving lesson was in a V12 Mercedes, yeah. which is very rare. Not a lot of people do that. I definitely didn't. I did it in a very, very old uh, Mitsubishi that we had. It was a 1987 model. It was a Mitsubishi Galant, but it was a manual, so I learned how to drive on a manual. We'll get to that point eventually as well. So uh, everyone give Sydney a thumbs up in the comments. Uh, let us know how she did. If you're stopping by for the first time you haven't already and you want to, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.